Um, how do we tell how strongly these ligands bond onto the metal? Well, we look at something called the formation constant. Uh, here is a particular reaction, metal plus ligand gives you ML, and here's the equilibrium constant. Well, this is the equilibrium constant is called the formation constant or stability constant. It's just an equilibrium expression. The larger this K constant, the more ML product you will have, the more uh, metal complex with the ligand. And so this is the, uh, this is the formation constant. In this case, we're emitting the waters, the five waters which are attached onto here for simplicity because we just get tired of writing those down. But we have to keep in mind that they're there. Okay, um, so this is a formation constant. Um, normally, we would write this kind of a reaction for an acid in the reverse way. So we would have HA dissociating to H plus and A. Minus. So this is the opposite of a kind of Ka um, constant, uh, which basically says for Ka, the larger the Ka, the stronger or more unstable the acid. But here, the larger the formation constant, oh, don't you hate these lights going on and off? Very annoying. The larger the uh, formation constant, um, the more stable is the metal ligand complex. So it's exactly the opposite of the Ka situation. Now we can have formation constants um, which are more than one. So the metal can join with the ligand to form the first one. It can form the second one with the second one to form ML2. And then ML2 can form ML3. Each of these are the stepwise equilibrium constants. That's K1. M to ML, K2, ML to ML2, and so on. Uh, but that's not normally the way we write metal formation constants. We normally use the symbol beta, and we write it cumulative. So if we write these equations cumulatively, we have metal plus two ligands goes to ML2, and that has a constant beta 2, beta for two ligands. And if you have metal joining with, say, Y lots of ligand, we would have MLY, and that would be the beta Y constant. Now it turns out that beta 2 is the product of the first two K constants, and beta Y, the formation constant for ML with Y ligands, is the product of the first K Y equilibrium stepwise constants. Uh, I hope you know that. It's uh, If you don't know it, 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 it we will do that exercise in class. See you later.